Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Root Learnings and this is video number 19 and we are going to continue from the last video which is which was about a week ago maybe more than that so it was about purchase orders so today we are going to talk about the stock transfers now if you haven't subscribed if if you're new to my channel first of all welcome to loop learnings and if you are a regular visitor of my channel welcome back thank you very much for being regular i really appreciate your support and um, uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos please do that in this series and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and do that as well and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video now i did post a a statement last night on my youtube channel saying that i'm thinking to scrap this series but immediately i got some messages not too much not too many but a uh, few people have mentioned that uh, why don't i continue with this series and uh, finish it properly so i thought okay um, if even one person is asking or two people are asking i would be happy to finish the series if it is benefiting to you all right so i will try my level best to uh, publish the videos as many as possible as quickly as possible regarding this series so we can finish it up so what we are going to do today we are going to talk about the stock transfer now if you haven't watched you don't know and uh, let me explain you briefly that this application is being built uh, by keeping one thing in mind that this application will be used by one organization under one umbrella and the assumption is that this organization has one big warehouse it is called central warehouse and its responsibility is to buy the products from the suppliers and store them in the central warehouse and then distribute those products to the small warehouses um or small locations around the country or wherever they are so that's the assumption based on that purchase order is used to actually uh, create a purchase order to the supplier to buy the product but the stock transfer order is the document which is going to be used internally to move the stock from one location to another location because this is a one um, organization unit although they might have separate cost centers separate profit centers but it's just the uh, money is going from one pocket to another pocket but essentially is remaining under the one umbrella one company so that's the assumption based on that stock transfer is uh, going to be prepared now um, if you have watched the po uh, couple of videos back video number 16 17 i believe 15 16 17 i worked on purchase orders if you have watched that video that's exactly same we are going to replicate for the stock transfers all right so let me quickly jump into stock transfer i will uh, talk less and do a little bit more so this is the form stock transfer and this, this 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 is a very simple form it consists of different sections so at the top you see uh, but same buttons that you have seen in purchase order form and uh, then you see general information uh, which means uh, things like which location has created this sto which location has create uh, please uh, requested the stock to which location so what is being requested and then um, stock transferred by so which location has actually transferred the stock and then um, uh, which location has received the stock so all of that is very very important and that we are going to cover in this particular uh, video now i'm going to do coding line by line for one or two buttons okay uh, let me repeat i'm going to do vba code i'm going to write the code line by line i will explain it 
for one button and that is save button or let's just say approve button as well after that i'm going to do a whole lot of copy pasting because after that uh, essentially everything will remain same until received button so whenever the status is sto created right i will make some changes i should be able to make some changes other than that nothing should happen so if me dot status dot value is not sto created is equal to is equal to as to your created then to cmd dot save to cmd dot beep message box the updates to the stock transfer information has been made okay comma we be information and information let me look at the po uh, i i want to keep the things same messaging same so that's why so here you can see if me dot status is not approved or not rejected then this action cannot be performed right if it is approved or rejected then uh okay all right okay so All right, so I'll go to the back end of the save button by clicking here, dot, dot, dot. And you know, the first thing I do is I keep the error handling code block. Okay, so within this code block, we are going to put some logic. So the first logic I want to put is that if the status of this stock transfer order is not approved or rejected, then essentially no update should be able to uh, no one should be able to make any update uh, in fact instead of approved uh, sto created or rejected no one should be able to uh, uh, make any changes to the uh, stock transfer order so we will start with if me dot status dot value is not po why I keep saying PO STO created or me dot status dot value is not uh, uh, rejected then to CMD to CMD dot beep message box this action cannot be performed right comma and it will be critical and the title would be information now if it is equal to sto created or or rejected then of course the changes whatever changes if someone wants to make they can make it so these are the business logics that we need to understand and once we understand the business logic then we can write the code properly okay all right so the updates to the so the message box should be changed the updates to the stock transfer order has been made successfully okay 
and this should be vb information rather than critical now uh, some of the things that we need to check for example this uh, transfer request reason should be should not be empty so i'll say if is null is null me dot transfer request reason dot what is happening man rusty is equal to true then do cmd dot b message box this action uh, instead of this action please choose the reason for stock transfer request okay comma vb critical and my computer is making noise with the fan and we're going to set the focus as well transfer request reason dot set focus all right so other than that we are going to check the variant as well so this needs to be checked please choose the products variant okay in here what else uh, who we are sending to the transfer to location that also needs to be selected transfer to location please choose the location to which the stock will be transferred okay all right uh, what else uh, at the moment that's enough i guess else so we have to auto populate some of the fields for example location id transfer request by location cost center uh status status states these needs to be auto populated auto auto pilot <laughs> okay so we'll say me dot created on dot value is equal to now me dot transfer by location no transfer request by location transfer okay that is the right field and we will get this information from the main form so we have to give reference of that form and lbl location id dot caption so this lbl location id is a label that is located on the main form on the dashboard and the next one is me dot location id dot value essentially it's the same there should not be any difference lbl location id dot caption okay so we have got that covered that covered this covered okay now we have to fill this up so me dot transfer request by cc dot value is equal to forms mean lbl cc dot caption cc is abbreviation of cost center status and status state me dot status oops me dot status dot value is equal to sto created me dot status date dot value is equal to now and after that you know what we have to do it's not only one table that we will have to fill fill it so do cmd dot save we have to fill in additional two tables for example we have to fill in user activity 
and that we will do with the help of a record source so to work with the record source we have to declare a variable so in this case we'll declare dim activity as a record set i was saying record source that's wrong record set i apologize we have to set the uh, record set called activity is equal to current db dot open record set and a record set essentially is the name of the table and query so in this case we have a table called user activity and that is my friend the record set now we are saying activity dot add new so add a new record in this record set so first thing first we need to add location id so which location is creating this request or this record perhaps so we'll say activity oops we'll say activity as question mark location id is equal to me dot location id so we can easily fetch location id located here and we can uh, populate it here an action type what is the action so activity exclamation mark action type is equal to me uh, not not me the action type should be uh, new record created right new record created then we have the reference document so activity exclamation mark refduc that would be me dot name then we have reference document number so activity exclamation mark ref doc and um me dot stit dot value okay even though no value no problem it will work what is the description of the record that is created so description is equal to user has created new sto okay when it was created that also we need to define action on is equal to now by whom it was created action by that we will have to get the information from main form which is lbl name dot caption all right so cool so that is it essentially under the user activity table so with this only one thing is remaining activity dot update okay now the best practice is to add comments right so to update the user activity table the following code is being used now we have to write a code to update the inventory table inventory table okay so this is another table that we have to update uh, to make sure that we are keeping the record of uh, our uh, STOs created so we can manage our inventory in that manner okay so that's why if we will see the inventory table so let me close this we'll go to the inventory table and likewise the way we did it for the activity table we will do it for the inventory table and to do that we have to set a new variable so that variable will be called you guessed it inventory as a record set okay now we will set that set inventory is equal to current db dot open record set so what is the name of record set it's the name of the table called inventory then we'll say inventory dot add new 
now we will define what do we want to add so we'll say inventory as question mark created on is equal to now okay then we will get the location id so inventory is question mark location id is equal to me dot location id then we have reference document so inventory is question mark ref oops oops ref doc me dot name so there are similarities you can find inventory as question mark uh, document number doc num is equal to me dot stid okay that's the document number that's the reference we have to give product id inventory exclamation mark product id in that this information will get it from variant id combo was if i'll go to the row source dot 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 we can see product id is sitting right here so zero one two three four five so it is located in variant id comma box column number five so me dot variant id dot column five okay so that is it next variant id inventory exclamation mark variant id is equal to me dot variant id dot column and it should be located in column number zero then item name inventory is question mark item name is equal to this is also located in this combo box so you want to see here it is item name zero one column number one okay me dot um, variant id dot column and it's located at number one what else then we have sku so inventory as question mark sku is equal to me dot variant id dot column so it is located in one of the columns so let's see what is the column number so sku 012 that's the column number two so we'll change it to two okay what is next next is the quantity inventory screenshot mark quantity is equal to is equal to what transfer quantity because at the moment the transfer is happening right me dot transfer quantity what else status inventory exclamation mark status is equal to me dot status okay inventory exclamation mark status date is equal to me dot status date that is it so two tables are uh, you know the data for two tables has been created so let's update Okay, then do cmd dot beep message box the stock transfer order has successfully been created. Maybe information and information and if Oof. so that is the code for oops only comments may appear after the end sub okay so there are two end subs that's why all right so that is only just for one button called save button we have to look for 
the other button we have to do the same vb coding prove recheck place order in transit received so for the approved what is the logic what logic we did we use for po let me see that there is nothing wrong to refer to previous similar document so that's why i'm doing it so if the po created if it is not po created then it gives an error otherwise it checks for approved okay so now let's do the coding behind approved button that's a lot of work guys it's not easy task trust me okay on error resume next okay and in between this code block we have to put some logics and those logics uh, are first of all if there is no record showing if there is no record in this form showing then give an error so that's the first logic if is null me dot status dot oops not status otherwise we'll get error every single time dot value is equal to true then to cmd dot beep message box uh, this action cannot be performed just as simple as that no need to write big stories in the message box else if me dot status dot value is not po created then to cmd dot b message box this action cannot be performed okay all right so you can see that if the the the, the it's not po created man sto created i'm stuck with po because i've done a lot of thinking about it and you know so po is always in the mind so the if you think from the business logic point of view the the sto can only be created uh, uh, sorry sto can only be approved if it is at the stage of creation if it is rejected should not be uh, should if it is rejected then should not uh, uh, be approved if it is uh, stock on order then should not be approved so the only logic is sto created that's the status okay else if me dot status dot value is equal to sto created and approved then do cmd dot b message box the sto has already been approved okay that's another business logic we be critical and information okay then after that else nothing else needs to be done else just change the status to approved and status state mirror status is equal to approved mirror status state dot value is equal to now and then what else this will remain same everything only thing is we need to update the two tables and i'm going to copy that sorry guys to save your time and my time i'm going to copy because it the 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 everything will be exactly the same there is no difference in in any of the code block but there will be change in one or two field and which i will demonstrate okay so don't worry about it so i've just copied 
for user activity activity okay new peer created um here uh we we, we can say sto approved okay user has approved the new sto simple as that here i don't think any anything need to be changed and then after that do cmd dot beep message box the sto has been approved successfully vb information information and if okay debug it save it close it for reject button i think the again i will have to take the reference for the po form because i want to keep things exactly the same the way those things were okay so uh, i can mark the approved sto as rejected sto okay so that's the logic we need to build and i'm going back to rejected let's copy the code as i mentioned i'm going to copy this code now because uh, i have already explained each and every item and this is why i said please pay attention if you don't uh, understand till now please go back to the start of the video so in here if the you can only reject if the sto created status is there and if it is rejected then has already been rejected okay otherwise make it as rejected and sto rejected you can see only minor changes otherwise copy and paste would definitely work but if you are learning please do not do copy and paste otherwise you will not understand a thing of it all right debug it save it close it next we have place order now think about the logic the order can only be placed if the sto is approved other than that it should give an error so let's go ahead and do that dot 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 and here we go so if it is not approved then this section cannot be performed it is already if it is already approved sorry if the stock is already on order okay the stock is already on order all right so otherwise s o o else after else and here you can see stock on order perhaps the stock is on order i don't think anything else needs to be changed okay now we'll go to the in transit so logically if you will think about it the stock can be in transit only if it is on order so let's go ahead and build that logic behind this button so we'll say that 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 to do okay if it is not on order then give an error and if it is already stock in transit then you can say the change the status the stock is in transit okay is marked already in transit 
um after that um what you need to do and let me let me check something because i'm replying to another message on another computer so it is already been marked in transit and sit stock in transit so action type sto updated that that is the action type actually the stock is in transit okay inventory 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 i don't think anything needs to be changed in inventory code block now this is funny now received right so you have partial grn you have full grn so let's go to that code builder and in here we'll paste that i will paste that and in here at the it can be only marked if the stock is in transit if it is grn already then the stock has already been received and hence this action cannot be performed now in two conditions as i mentioned first condition is if the if this if the uh, i will go here if the receive quantity is less than transfer quantity then it's a partial grn if receive quantity is equal to transfer quantity then it's full grn right two different conditions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this code block until here and i'm going to hit tab button okay on my keyboard and in here we're going to say if me dot receive quantity is less than me dot transfer quantity then me dot status dot value is equal to partial grn okay uh, me dot status date dot value is equal to now all right so this will remain same and here sto update it the stock has partially received inventory that will remain same no it will not i'll tell you why here you see the transfer quantity now we are receiving the stock so it should be receive quantity right so that's the change here we go other than that things will remain same and in here the message box will be to cmd dot beep message box the stock has partially been received comma vb information and information okay now in here we are going to use another code block so i'm going to copy this and in here i'm going to paste it so i'm going to say else if receive quantity is equal to transfer quantity then it's a grn right and then after that i'm going to copy this entire code block there we go and we are going to close it with end if
the stock has been received not partially this time full stock received okay chair and now transfer boundary all right cool looks good looks really good all right now behind s back order button so we can only mark a STU as back order if so we have to use the same I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste in here back order so here we'll put logic uh, if it is not stock in transit then nothing will be performed if it is already back order then we can give a message this stock is already on back order otherwise it's PO back order STO update it the stock is on back order All right. Okay. That is it. Now, before I go ahead and test out, I need to auto populate unit purchase price here, and that is sitting here. And I need to auto populate the transfer to CC uh, data that is sitting here. So unit purchase price, if I'll go to the data tab, dot, 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 we can see that 0, 1, 2, 3, column number 3 purchase price is sitting there. And we'll get that after update event, dot, 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 code builder. And we'll say me dot unit purchase price dot value is equal to me dot variant id dot column column number three was that three number let me see oops zero one two three yeah okay now we have to get the location cost center 012 cost center is column number two event after update me dot transfer to cost center dot value is equal to me dot transfer to location dot column 012 all right so now it's time for the testing and the fingers crossed i hope everything goes well login let's go here stock transfer stock transfer and behind that i'm going to put a code here just temporary code else if me dot ptn2 dot caption is equal to stock transfers then to cmd dot open form which form uh, well sto comma in add mode Okay. so this is a temporary code that we are going to put in just to open the form all right i hope that everything works so let's go back all right two pieces transfer to warehouse number one save approve order is placed in transit two pieces received should be GRN. 
Okay, oops, why was that? I will see it later on. It seems to be working well. Let's see the tables, if the tables have been updated. So we'll go to the user activity first. There we go. So you can see the sequence. A new STU is created, then new STU is approved, then stock is on, transit, uh, on order, in transit, received. Fantastic. Let's go to the inventory tab, inventory uh, table. You can see STU created, then approved, then it's on order, then stock in transit, then GRN. That is fantastic. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate. And uh, I hope that you have learned something. Even if you're not, please do let me know in the comments below. I hope that you like whatever you've seen. If you like, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Hit the bell icon so you not get a notification whenever I upload any video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you in the next one.